Hello, uh, this is a video that is a continuation of uh, Arduino serial with microbit. Uh, <clears throat> this uh, uh, shows the program that I used there, the microbit program, and uh, it uh, uh, prints a, a comma separated values. So there is value here, and then comma, value and comma, and then uh, in the end uh, there is a line feed printed, an empty string there. And uh, this works well with the Arduino serial plotter. But uh, it doesn't work uh, with uh, this uh, emulator, this simulator. It only prints the first the value, and then uh, the rest of the values are shown in the console. But you want to uh, have all uh, plotted. Uh, so then you have to use another program, uh, which I should uh, show soon. Uh, I should only show this with the magnetic force or magnetic field strength. Uh, it's minus 2000 here, and uh, this was before uh, to compensate for this uh, coming on uh, random places after calibration, uh, very far from zero. Uh, but uh, it was wrong here, I think. But um, in other cases, they are offset uh, randomly, or uh, perhaps not randomly, but uh, different each time you calibrate. Uh, and uh, also, you can see here, uh, it's uh, difficult to convert from uh, Boolean to uh, integer, which you need here, to write uh, to the serial uh, port. Uh, but uh, I do that here with this uh, JavaScript function, uh, ternary operator. Uh, so you can only edit it in the JavaScript, these gray blocks, uh, but it's here. And uh, we have, uh, can show this code that uh, is used to calibrate also. It's here. So if you hold down B while you press uh, reset, then you get into this calibrate compass. Otherwise, you only get into that the, the first time after you have installed a hex file. And then this prints uh, the header for the CVS file, comma separated values file, so that if you would import the log in, uh, for instance, uh, Excel, you will get these headings or the columns. Now I should switch uh, to the other program that I actually use. That works with the plotting function in the simulator. Mm. And this uh, writes uh, uh, value and uh, now it's name and value pairs instead. And uh, then I also removed all offsets and uh, scalings because this simulator has individual scaling for each signal. So here you can show, for instance, in X, uh, here, now I tilt it in X direction, so the X changes. It also changes Y, but that's uh, just disturbances. Here I change Y only. And then this uh, Z axis here, uh, that's uh, also changing when you change X and Y. But uh, the most powerful way of changing the z-axis is to turn the microbit upside down. 
Then we have this button A here. I could test that. Uh, that uh, shows a 1 now. Uh, there is no uh, Y scale. They, they don't tell this and also no X scale here. Uh, so it's just qualitative. Mm. Uh, then we have these uh, magnetic field strings. They are zero all the time, even though I change things here. And even if I change this compass direction, it's also zero. So they are not uh, simulated. I put in uh, the compass uh, heading here. Uh, so that something related to magnetic fields should be shown here. Uh, the compass works well here in the simulator, but not so well in the real world, as I have tested. I only get very weak signals there. Then we have this light uh, uh, measurement. It uh, measures using the LEDs, and then they connect uh, the LEDs uh, backward using a voltage and uh, I think they measure the time they put on a voltage and they measure the time it takes for it to leak out and it leaks out faster if you have a light on because then the light photons uh, creates uh, free electrons and it uh, discharges faster. And we have the uh, temperature here and you can change this here in the simulator like so and then we have uh, B here button B now this uh, is negative here I set, uh, put it to minus 1 so that one could see the difference between A and B then this uh, here is uh, related to time and uh, it is uh, uh, counting up uh, for 10 seconds and then, then it goes down again. Um, and this uh, last value here is a, a count of uh, uh, printed data sets. So now it's not lines any longer because uh, each data set are many lines. But uh, this is in a way counting up. Uh, the, the data sets are printed and uh, here you can uh, pause this and you can also download uh, export data so you can download it as a CVS file here uh, it's a bit special because they have time for each uh, data point but uh, we should not look at this now. Um, yeah, I think I've tested most things here. We we'll just go back here. Um, and okay. And so there um, we have this program here. I can show this uh, on start. It's simplified now because uh, we don't print the headers for uh, since the headers are always included here. But this program doesn't work with the Arduino uh, plotter now. Uh, this version, anyway. Maybe they improve it so it could work with Arduino plotter too in the future. Mm. Well, thanks for me. See you next time.